Hello and welcome to Learning by Doing, another thing by Data Talks. Uh, today we're going to be going over some pandas exercises. You get to watch a real data scientist work through some exercises. Um, in this case, these are the exercises under uh, Grip Samora's pandas exercises library in stats, US baby names. So feel free to click the link in the description to follow along. So without further ado, let's go for it. Again, I've not looked at this at all, so you're seeing a completely fresh perspective, exactly what you wanted. Um, so this is using the um, uh, US baby names from Kaggle. Uh, it's a subset of them. So let's go ahead and import the libraries. Uh, so pandas, this is gonna be the number one that we will do. We might need some more since this is a statsy thing. So we might need to go ahead and maybe use some SciPy or something like that. Um, okay, interesting baby names. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, great. See, there's this weird comma here right in the beginning of this file, and I just want to make sure that that was right. So, looks good. Looks like it's a big file, so, oof. Um, but hopefully it's not too big. My computer is a little bit anemic at the moment. So, as you guys know, if you've been watching this series before, you can always go ahead and grab the, oh, it's literally in here. Oh, interesting. Um, I didn't notice that while picking it up. Okay, so the US baby names is right here. So you can go ahead and you can literally import this either by you know the CSV files right here, or you can import it by using the URL. So let's use the URL just to show you. So read CSV. Um, read CSV with the pandas read CSV will actually go ahead and work on URLs. Um, and in this case, the, uh, the thing is already comma separated. So it's totally fine. Um, so notice it's taking a little bit of time because this is a big old data set. Um, so we can assign it to a variable called baby names, just to make it a little bit, to make it a little bit longer. Um, check out the first ten entries. Um, dot head ten gives me the first ten entries, right? And so this is name. Um, I had looked here a little bit before. This is this is the count of the number of times this name was used, and I guess this is in this particular year. Um, so let's delete the column unnamed and ID. Great. So we can do this in two ways. Uh, we can do it the old fashioned way, which is baby names and then just the column ID. And then we can do Dell uh, baby names with the column. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's deaf. Huh. I was like, why is it, why is it blue? Uh, are you seeing that? Okay, so Dell baby names and then unnamed colon uh, space zero. Um, the other thing you could do is just do a lock to go ahead and separate it out. So this will go ahead and give us a nice clean baby names. Um, just just nice clean babies all. Okay. Are there is there more female or male names in the data set? So this is an interesting question. So does it mean by year? Does it mean by count? So let's go ahead and do it um, first by oh male female okay great great we do have gender uh, let's first do it by um, count and then let's well let's first do it just by occurrence and let's do it by count so um, let's go ahead and say baby names dot uh, gender uh, and then we'll just say equal to uh, male male or female it's female I know that that's at least in there um, and so this will uh, find all the baby names that are female. Um, uh, let's just do this. Uh, and then let's go ahead and take the uh, mean. So 54% of the names in the data set are female. However, this does not necessarily mean that the counts are female. Uh, so we can go ahead and do this a couple of ways. Um, let's go ahead and just do a quick little group by, which will be a fun one. Uh, so let's uh, group by uh, uh, gender uh, dot ag. Again, I love the ag syntax. Uh, and then we can go count. So let's uh, aggregate, uh, let's group by gender, let's aggregate over the column count, and let's go ahead and get the uh, sum. Uh, okay, great. So, yes, but there are more male names in the, there are more males being named in the data set. Uh, which does make a little bit more, s well, th this proportion is a little bit off. But remember, 
Uh, I think, what, 51% of the population is male. Uh, so you would expect there to be just more males in the data set. Uh, this is a little bit, looks a little bit imbalanced uh, just because uh, this looks like a little bit more than 51. Um, so, cool. Um, we can always just uh, divide by uh, baby names dot um, uh, count. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, ooh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby names dot. We can just we just need a single column here. Um, oh, it's not even count. It's ah uh, ah uh, guys. So it's this sum. Perfect. So 53% to 46%. Uh, too early in the morning. Okay, cool. So we know this a little bit. We understand our data set a little bit. Um, let's group the data set by name, name and assign it to names. Group the data set by name and assign it to names. Okay, sure. Uh, let's group the data set. Uh, group, uh, oh, sorry, group by, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, name. And let's assign this to names. Okay, easy. How many different names exist in the baby er, in the baby set, <laughs> the data set? You know, I would have ultimately just done this um, dot name dot in unique, uh, and this would give us. So it looks like there's seventeen thousand names. Um, with this, we can just go ahead and it's group by, and so maybe we can just do a count. I don't, I don't, like generally you want to do an ag first. Oof, let's stop that. I, I, that was probably not what you wanted to do. Um, so anyways, this goes ahead and gets it for us. It's totally cool. Uh, what is the name with the most occurrences? So we grouped by names. So names dot, um, let's go ahead and get the dot count. Oh, oh. oh. okay. Looks like we did something here, so good. Uh, names dot count dot uh, sum. Uh, so this will give us yep exactly, uh, and then we want to go ahead and do dot uh, sort values. Um, what I, I'm kind of curious at this that what if we did dot ag? Um, is there a sort keyword arg here? Um, I don't believe there is. These are args to pass into the function itself. Okay, great. So there is, there is not. Um, so let's just go back here. Dot uh, val sort values uh, values, and then we'll just go ascending equals false. Ascending equals false. It's always a little bit to me. I, it's always a little bit messy to just do this sort of long thing. Um, so I would probably prefer to do it a little bit differently, especially if someone else was uh, going to be checking this out. But you know, just because this is, is just between just between you and me, uh, we can go ahead and just keep this messy. So let's find the count of names, let's sum them all up, and then let's uh, sort values. Um, so Jacob seems to be the name with the most occurrence. How many different names have the least occurrence? Um, right. Um, so we can do this. The least occurrence is five equals five, and then we can just go ahead and do dot um, sum. Uh, two uh, two thousand uh, five hundred and seventy-eight have the least occurrence, and this probably is the lower bound. They were probably like, let's not include names that were uh, lower than five, and maybe this is just from the segmented or the subset it data set. Um, but you imagine this is incredibly long tail. There's probably a, a ton more names uh, that just have one occurrence than there are of five. What is the median name occurrence? Great. Um, so again, this kind of gave us the, uh, I'm not sure. So I guess what, what happened here is um, we grouped by names, which meant that we looked over every state, every state, every year, each gender. Um, so, okay, so we every state, each year, each gender, and then we went ahead and we counted. Okay, here we go. Um, Maybe this five is here because this is, uh, well, anyways, I, we, we need to sort of dig in a little bit deeper. There might be actually names with a count of less than five uh, that we can uh, go ahead and find, but let's, let's ignore that for the moment. Okay, so what is the median names occurrence? So very simple dot median. 
Um, you want to call that function. Um, right. Uh, ID, ID medium? Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, let's, again, let's be a little lazy here. Um, I'm, I'm almost being too lazy. Um, so I'll, I'll just call this name uh, count equals this. Um, let's go ahead and have name count dot ID. Yeah, you can only do IDX min and IDX max, unfortunately. So we'll, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. So we've got the median is 49. Uh, let's go ahead and get the names count. And let's find where this is equal to uh, 49. A um, little bit, little bit lazy. Um, there's actually a lot of names right at the median. Uh, what is the median name occurrence? Oh, it, it was just asking for the median name occurrence. Okay, 40, 49, 49, simple. Um, cool. Uh, what is the standard deviation of the count of names? Um, pretty simple. Uh, so let's do that. Standard deviation of the count of names dot stv. So, eleven thousand. Um, and get a summary of the mean max. Yep, great. And so we can just do describe. Very simple. Mean, max, all the percentiles and stuff like that. So pretty simple, really nice, sort of easy way to get you know your, uh, your data, doing a couple of stats on it, asking a few questions about it. Uh, let's go ahead and check with the answers to see if they did anything in a more elegant way. Uh, so US baby names, uh, exercises with solutions, great. Um, cool. So pandas importing using the address, great. They are, they call the .info on it, which is perfect. It's probably the first thing you want to do whenever you get a new data set. The head, um, they did this Dell thing as well, perfect. Uh, the comment is a little bit wrong, but no trouble. Um, genders, they just did value counts, perfect. That's even better. Um, I did, uh, I did a group by uh, in that case. Value counts, this is really just perfect. It's really, really good. Uh, the group by um, is fine. I, honestly, I like value counts better. Um, group the data set by uh, name and assign it to name. So they delete it year. Okay, so this is really what they wanted to do. I always dislike it when it says group the data set by name, right? And yeah, do you want to take the sum? Do you want to take the mean? I'm not really sure, okay? So sum, and then we, yep, uh, cool. Sort it from the biggest to the smallest. Jacob, we got that as well. How many different names exist in the data set? Perfect, 17K, which is just in unique. Um, okay, the length of this, totally fine. Um, what is the name with the most occurrence? IDX max, perfect. Um, how many different names have the least occurrence? Perfect. Oh, I didn't, did I even calculate the number of those names? Um, uh, the least occurrence. Oh, I did, I did, great. Okay, perfect. Median occurrence, they did the exact same thing. I did, great. Um, yeah, no, this is super neat. Um, standard deviation and describe. Yeah, perfect. So, you know, my, uh, you know, basically what I'd say, this is sort of a great exercise. If you've not already done this before, definitely try it out. This is like, I'd call very succinct, very nice. Um, if you guys liked the video, if you learned something a little bit, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Um, and then if you liked it even more than that, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys sort of subscribing, commenting, positive things really gives me the, the courage, the, the, the momentum to keep pushing. Um, so if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep making videos of this type. So thanks again, and uh, big thanks from Data Talks.